was happening right here at the parking lot. As I got to the corner, uh, another gentleman came up behind him and, and took his arm, put it down around his head, took him down to the ground between the cars and started punching him. I heard somebody yell for help. And I looked over and uh, a man was being assaulted. Instincts, I just kind of jumped in, you know, you have to help. <laughs> I ran across the street, I stood over him so the guy couldn't hit him anymore. They say they didn't even think about the suspect potentially having a gun. They just followed their gut. Somebody needed assistance and uh, I'm not going to stand by and watch somebody be assaulted like that. When we got him separated, he ran through the parking lot and through the alleyways, and that was where the other gentleman came into play. Strangers coming together to help a neighbor in need. I followed him, watched where he went. Had the other gentleman not have went after him, they might not have got him. Two good Samaritans, both used to labels, but not the hero kind. Dirty, mentally ill, diseased, uh, drug addicts. Chad is homeless and living in the drop-in shelter. David used to be homeless himself, but recently found a place to live, though he's still looking for work. They see people, you know, that are begging on the streets, or you know, and, and they get that stigma that, that you know, that you know, they're just a waste of space, a waste of time. Just because somebody is um, down on the walk or down and out right then doesn't mean they're not a good person. And if this picture is worth a thousand words. It might just tell you. Don't judge a book by the cover. And that's about all.